Hello, today I'm going to show you how to add triggers and action into PowerPoint 2007. Okay, so first I actually like to work with a blank page, so I'm just going to go to layout and blank. But you could work also with what layout you want. So first I'm just going to insert some quick pictures. A quick picture. Uh, where do I have my pictures? Let's just say this one. Alright. Insert the text box. And let's just say friends. Alright. So, what I need to do now? First, go to animation and click custom animation. You see this will appear on the right. Now you need to select the image and click add effect. You could select an interest effect, emphasis effect, exit or motion path effect. For now we are going to choose entrance effect and choose what effect you like. Also see here more effects. I'll just choose fade. Now right click here and select timing. Here down you see we have triggers. Now click on it and this will appear. Click start effect on click off and you see here we have all the objects that are on the page. So if you want this image to do the effect, to do this effect of entrance, when you click on this writing, these friends, you are just going to select here text box for friends and click OK. OK, so now when we click on the friends, this picture will appear. Let's just try it. F5. Click on friends. So we see this appeared. But let's just say when we want to do another thing. If we click again on the friends, see this effect is rewinding. So we don't want that. Let's just say we have more pictures here and more picture titles in here. And we want that when we click second, the second time on this, we want it to disappear. So what are we going to do? Just select this again and click here add effect. But this time we will choose an exit effect and again choose whatever you like. I'm going to choose a diamond. So now what you can do is just drag this here or if you want again right click timing trigger start effect on click off and select the text box okay so let's just see what we've done f5 click on friends see it appeared click again this time it disappeared so pretty much this is uh, how we can use the triggers. So it appears, disappears. Okay, and show. Also, we can do another thing. See here we have start on click. And we have two more options, with previous or after previous. Now if you choose this with previous, the effect of exit will start when the previous one starts which is the interest effect well we don't want that let's choose after previous and see what happens f5 click on friends so now you see when the interest effect finished the exit one started and show 
but if you saw it was too quick we didn't actually saw the picture very well so we are going to right click on it effect option uh, we go to timing and here we have delay uh, right now it's zero we are just going to choose let's say five seconds okay and now for F5 click on friends see it appeared and now see it, it waited five seconds and then it disappeared that is the delay so we had a little time to watch the picture okay pretty much that's what we can do with the triggers you could change some things around here play with the options see what they do but that's basically how we add triggers okay now we're going to go to the second part which is actions we're just going to open a new slide let's just say two slides and add a quick text box just say page 2 all right and insert page 3 okay this is just some quick editing that I'm doing right now oh if you want you can close this I'm not going to work with it anymore so on the second page we have pretty much a blank page let's just add something insert a text box and say here second page all right here we say uh, uh, third page all right and now we are going to add some action with at these two so just click here uh, outside of the writing no, it. and go to insert and here we have action just click on it and you see this appears this window appears now here we have mouse click and mouse over first we are going to go to start with mouse click select hyperlink tool and here you have multiple options you can go to next slide previous slide first slide last slide last slide view and show and much more custom show relay you could also open another file okay here you have run program run macro or other option options these two you can't you can't use right now so we're going to add the hyperlink to we could choose next slide but let's just say this page was here and was the next one actually i'm just going to choose next slide all right click ok and now the third one again click here action and now we are going to choose hyperlink to and here we have slide okay choose this and choose the third slide for the page 3 and also click actually highlight click pretty much works for objects and images not for text box okay click ok and now select the second page and we're going to edit this click here action and select mouse over the same options we have here okay click to hyperlink to and we are going to choose let's just say when we go with the mouse over this we want it to get us 
to the first slide. So we are going to choose first slide. Okay. Same with this action mouse over hyperlink to first slide. So let's just see what we've done here. Click F5. Okay, click on page two. See to go to the second page, mouse over, back to the first page, page three, mouse over, back to the uh, to the first page. Yeah, so pretty much that's how you add triggers and actions to the show. Well, thank you for watching. If you have any requests, any question or comments, please write below.